Hello, 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 ladies, gentlemen. Welcome back to a very requested video on the channel. Now, the most requested videos are always build videos, but the video that was extremely requested on my live streams, by the way, I stream this game every single day over on twitch.tv slash MikaRS, is to showcase all of my accounts. Often people join in and they're like, okay, which war are we playing? I can play like three, four wars a day sometimes, and I have a lot of war-ready accounts, and today we're gonna display all of them. And I believe the best way to start this one off is, is to start simply on our main character. This is um, not a fresh server character, but this is a character where it all began, okay? The very first character we created, the character that went through, what, like seven, eight, maybe ten different servers we've been playing quote-unquote competitively on this account for, well, since the start of the game, really. Starting off in my own guild in Gilenor, moving on to Runeberg, then eventually joining Disaster. I believe we at some point joined then Bonsai, played with Bonsai for a long time until the disband, then joined Parabellum, played with Parabellum for a long time, and then joining 2.0 when that was re-established, just for a little bit of the lore. And to keep this video flowing, uh, I'm not gonna showcase absolutely everything we have, but I will display some, well, basically just items, really, that we've accumulated throughout, like, 4,000, almost 5,000 hours of playing this game on all these different characters. And the first thing, obviously, we're not gonna keep this as a build video, but this is my main war setup at the moment. It is slightly updated since my last build video, and we are running Refreshing Move, Chain, uh, Lightning, Thwarting, Strikes, Great X, Shock, Chain, and Thwarting, Strikes, Hammer, uh, Resi, Shirking, Crit, Retribution, Head. I am looking for Resi, Shirking, Freedom here. Um, Resi Shirking Freedom Body, Resi Freedom Grav, Resi Shirking Freedom Legs, Resi Shirking Freedom Boots, Stamina Recovery Slash Protection Health, Leeching in Vig Slash Damage Ring, and Refreshing Toast, um, Purifying Toast and Regenerating Earring. Arguably a full base bruiser build, aside from perhaps uh, an ability to change this helmet into a Resi Shirking Freedom, would leave me with 5 Resi. 5 freedom and 4 shirking. Now the freedom value for the last perk is not that high, it goes from 44% to 50%, but it's still, it's just a flex at that point, and it's better than critical retribution. Critical retribution is a pretty dead perk, you are taking a little bit extra damage from people using invigorated punishment, so I probably will be looking to get rid of that. But now, this is my, my, my main character, what does that mean? If we look at the number of 6 to 5 gear score items, it is going to be a lot, so I'm gonna try to go fast through this we got we got nullifying oblivion lost ba okay so this is like pv pv stuff right so we got like pv across the board i don't want to get too much into the pv side of things um but you can just kind of see the items that i've upgraded throughout PvEing. So, for example, this was my refreshing move sword until I found a better one, which I'm sure it's somewhere in there. Corrupted Bane Enchanted Kindling Power. I don't think I really should go through all of this, but we have a bunch of items, okay? We have every single best in slot for every single dungeon. Um, it, it's a lot, okay? 6 to 5 gear score on everything. Uh, when it comes to amulets, for example, depending on the dungeon that we're doing, we're gonna have a nature protection with health with the nature gem, we're gonna have a flame protection health with the fire gem, we're gonna have a void protection gem with health and void gem, we're gonna have ice protection with frozen and uh, obviously frozen gem, and we're gonna have this on every single item in the game. Uh, as I said, if people are really interested in PvE side of things, I could look to showcase some of my PvE builds in the future. We have like a full luck set, still have this void band, fuck it, you know, but I haven't used it in years, but it's still in my inventory. Um, just quick little display. Now, we also have basically best in slot mage gear, funnily enough, on this setup. Like we have refreshing resi pillar here, we have freedom refreshing resi on the on the body, freedom elemental version. Okay, this one's kinda shit. But I have basically builds like as you can see, freedom shirking resi, even in an intelligence form. Um I, I just got it all. I just got it all on this account. And uh, I will stick to displaying my main build, I think, instead of going into, like, my musket setup, my mage setup, my every setup. Now, the important part of this build, just to kind of keep keep it in line with what I'm talking about, right, is I have Constitution, Freedom Shirking Resi, for three pieces. Light legs, boots, and body. So what does that mean? I can play any heavy... Pardon, any medium build in the game, any meta medium build in the game, by keeping Freedom Shirking Resi, Freedom Shirking Resi, and Freedom Shirking Resi, and only changing my medium helmet and medium gloves. 
For example, do I want to pull up uh, an IGVG for a war? No problem. Put a nullifying oblivion on the helmet. Put, I don't know, an ending thaw on the gloves. Put uh, frost something on the IG and put scream on the VG. And I have a best in slot set up for, for a mage. Um, and, and I can do that with basically every build. That's why I'm so happy to have all of these in constitution form. And uh, it just helps out uh, a ton, really. Uh, noticing this, though, I will be needing a helmet with strength if I do go with uh, Resi Shirking Freedom. So I don't overcap on Constitution. I just now noticed that. Uh, but that being said, I think this is my main character. Everybody knows about it at this point. The one more thing worth mentioning would be this Brutal Heart Rune of Stone Form. So we got the Brutal Stone Form. We got the Cunning Stone Form. And we also have the dead. Wait, what? Wait, I not have the. Wait, I'm actually griefing. I need to make a healing one on this. Uh... I didn't notice. Okay, so this is my main character. I have to make the healing, um, healing stone from rune because it's absolutely ridiculously strong. I just now noticed. I don't actually have that. I was sure I had it. Um, but we have brutal heart rune of detonate. Usually, I would have a healing stone form. And then a Brutal Stone form for when I'm playing OPRs. Um, I really like it how I can get like one hit combos uh, without people really expecting it. So that will be... Wait, it is cunning. No, wait, this one is the fortifying. Okay, I'm just... I, I'll show you on my fresh. I'm just trolling because I haven't... Uh, that actually pisses me off a little bit. I was pretty sure I had it. Maybe I have it in one of the storages. I'll have to take a look off recording. But this is this character done out of the way, right? Um, I would like, if you're running stone form, the healing one is too fucking good right now. So I don't know why I don't have it. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, lots of items. Everything 6 to 5. Some PvP sets are 6 to 3. Um, this is probably going to be like a deck setup, I would assume. No, it's a healing. Okay, I don't know, bro. This character has it all. But now if we go to like a character is that are more like PvP oriented, it's gonna be a little bit easier to go through. Uh, and I think the next next account that uh, deserves a nice little showcase is my fresh server account. Um, so obviously, you could argue that my main has a best in slot bruiser setup, right? Very close to it. Uh, now this is gonna be my fresh character, and once again, I'm super happy with where we are at uh, on Artemis on this character. We are... Well, we've gone through some really good crafting sessions lately, so I do need to make like an updated build for my fresh server. But this can almost treat, this can almost be like that, you know? Um, almost a display of uh, what, we've been, what we have been up to on our fresh character. So right now I am wearing my musket setup, and we're gonna go ahead and change that very quickly. Just so people kind of see what we're dealing with. So stamp slash, we're gonna need a better ring, invig slash hardy. And we're gonna need a better earring, which is going to be uh, refreshing, regenerating, purifying. So here I'm using the stalwart heart rune of stone form, uh, which I think is a sleeper OP stone form that not, not a lot of people run right now. Um, yes, you do lose a little bit of damage, but it's a get out of jail free card. It is super valuable right now. And I would recommend bruisers to give it at least a shot. Uh, now, however, if we quickly equip all my PvP setup, I'm gonna also pop a carrot kick just so I can respect this for the war that's coming later on. I'm gonna now display to you what my fresh setup looks like at the moment. So this is where lately you've been probably seeing a lot of fresh server war wars. It's getting very competitive over here on the server. Um, we did lose Brimstone, Everfall and Windsward lately with, with the mergers coming through. We failed to capitalize on getting some good players in our company and we got kicked in the butt right now. Both Windbringers or Boost Riders and Fresh Grills are probably a little bit stronger than we are. Uh, but it's one of those things where uh, we just have to get back on track and uh, try to get a little bit better as a group. However, once again, looking at my great text, it's going to be full biz over here on fresh server as well with the refreshing move, thwarting strikes and chain. Moving on to my hammer, we are running the free hammer called commitment and it does have enchanted shock and chain. Very good hammer. Um, I am looking to purchase a shock thwarting with a third useful perk if I see it on the market. However, this is the exciting part about this character. We got a Freedom Shirking Resi on the helmet. Freedom Shirking Resi handcrafted by myself. I crafted, res I I crafted Freedom Shirking Bodies um, on a huge gamba on the stream and it, it hit. It hit. It was such an exciting moment. Landed on this absolutely wonderful full beast piece. 
And same with these gloves, handcrafted, needed like 50 crafts for this one, crafting freedom grab. Um, but we did end up hitting it. Uh, obviously regular pants, very strong pants, not full beast. I'm looking for resi shirking freedom. And once again, looking at the heavy boots here, freedom shirking resi, only paid 70k for these boots on the market. We got an absolute steal for a full beast. And this leaves me with five resi, um, I believe four shirking and for freedom right now so absolutely crazy setup at the moment moving on to an amulet full beast with stem recovery slash in health and now ring with invig slash hearty now there's two arguments some people prefer leeching some people prefer hearty i have the luxury of having hearty on this character leeching on my main character and i think i'm leaning towards it's weird when I have pocket healers for myself on fresh heart is an absolute winner for me because I tell my healers to run Ellie I get the extra stamina from it and then extra hearty I just I just have infinite dodges if you see my POVs you'll see my stamina just being permanently topped off by my pocket healer uh, obviously thanks to Ellie uh, but on my main I am not like receiving as many heals right so leeching I kind of really like it over there on my main um, obviously the first thing that I'll do right there is go make my uh, um, mending heart run real quick because I can't believe I don't have it uh, but yeah this is this is my absolute beast setup over here on the fresh servers we also have a decent two beast musket setup here with the attunement enchanted um, um, a musket then we have attunement distancing throw over here on the hatchet and then if we do move down we have let's take a look here we have a punishing ignited thrust words over here on a 2 beast setup so resi empowering shooter stance resi powder burn elemental resi elemental resi refreshing that one here is a full beast elemental resi on the body uh, in decks with refreshing toast and purifying toast full beast earring for the musket divine health and thrust protection on the amulet and obviously we are using the mortal empowerment ring with leeching and keen awareness for my musket setup and uh, this is going to be obviously the second account you guys see this uh, th this account over here on the youtube a lot uh, but now there's two more accounts that you guys don't see a lot of and those are the new projects or an old projects that i've worked on in the past that i haven't touched that i will be touching again in the future so the first one i want to display for that is going to be is going to be my Nisa account. So in the past, you guys saw a lot of videos regarding this account when it comes to Fire Mage build, right? Uh, but lately, I'm doubling down on my bruisers, really trying to become one of the best bruisers in this game. And the way I do that is by just really honing down my skills as a bruiser. And this is what my Nisa account is going to become. I'm going to be joining this Nisa Wars as well whenever my schedule allows it. Obviously, I do prioritize Artemis Wars over Bari Wars over Nisa Wars. So, for example, if I have a fresh server war, it gets priority over all the other servers, right? If there is a, another war at the same time, Always going to be Artemis first, then Bari, then Nisa. But uh, oftentimes the wars are spread around. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a sneak peek as to what I've been up to on this account. Let me just quickly take care of this guy before I get absolutely railed. So I've actually been doing the quest line over here in the Brimstone on this character. Why? Because I do not have a heart rune. Um, but if we quickly were to take a look at what type of thing I'm running on this setup, um, it is not very good, but it, it it is it is a good starting point. So we're looking at the Great X. I've had this Great X for a while. It's a two perker, thwarting strikes, refreshing move. Has that little reap. Will I ever use it? Most likely not. Um, obviously, no chance that I get a full beast on this character. We got a really interesting hammer over here with thwarting strikes, attunement, and keen speed. It is a very solid option, but you might be wondering, where's the shockwave? And well, I got this piece for like 3k on the market, and it was such a steal. And I have these gloves on this character, because this was before the... Sh like, I built this character up before... Um, the brimstone patch before shockwave on weapons were actually stronger. So this is an all right one and a half perker. So I'm just sticking with it and using um, obviously uh, just this hammer. Uh, this will all be changed in the future. Still gotta work on punishing runeless. Still gonna work on my hard hard gem slots. So it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get this character fully war ready. However, I was in a war yesterday on Nissa and I went absolutely crazy with this build without heart rune. So that was absolutely hilarious. But looking at the setup, it's nothing special. It's resi shirking. It's resi leeching POD. It had 
it's it's bad. Okay, so this is not even good. Uh, this would be better if I just went Rezi shirking on this body. But it's already six to three. It is like one and a bit of a perker with refreshing and POD. So we're running it. Um, this one is alright. I mean. It does the job. I have a phone call, which is a bit unlucky. Um, and then this one, obviously, Resi grab well and Resi shirking on the boots. Uh, I will be trying to hit uh, Freedom Resi grab on the boots on this character. And after that, I will start building up um, the full base setup is how I always do it. I got an absolute steal over here on the amulet with stamp health and void protection. Um, so, the, the, so void protection here is kind of shit, right? But I got this for like 3k. So to me, that's like an insta steal. It's a stem health, and like the the grav pops do a little bit less damage. Uh, using only the invig punishment slash damage ring here for now until I land on either heart or leeching, and then doom's chance. It is a very solid free option. Now in the past, you guys saw me running this build with like um, probably this fire staff, kin vicious uh, fireball with kin vicious and ending thaw. Those were really all the go. There were no attunement back then, so these were actually good pieces. Uh, right now they're kind of shit. Um, and then if I were to go down on t on the setup, we have this Crete Refreshing Resi on the helmet. We have Elemental Shirking Refreshing there. Um, uh, okay, so Distancing Throw on this one. I don't know when I ever ran that. It it's it's a, a little bit all over the place. I haven't obviously looked exactly into this account for a while. We do have this Mortal Empowerment Leeching and Hearty uh, ring, which isn't the worst. Um... Refreshing Resi Meteor Power, so remember when the Meteor Power was bugged and it provided... Okay, I'm gonna have to quickly do this and say... Okay, and now I hopefully stop getting calls. And as you can see, Refreshing Resi Meteor Shower used to be absolute full beast. Um, because when you would use Meteor Shower, it would increase all of your damage by crazy amounts. I think that's fixed by now. Um, but other than that, it's 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 just a two perker build, right, across the board. Um, so this account is where we will be working towards completing just a mediocre two biz bruiser setup and just enjoying some Nisa Wars. And then we have an account that I haven't even personally logged into for a very long time. So that's going to be my fourth War Ready account. If you guys have been following my streaming career for the, for the course of the last year, you probably remember that I had a period where I really... I, I played NA Wars and I made the NA character from scratch um, called Mika EU over here. And I played some NA Wars and I absolutely went crazy. However, I was playing with 150 ping. It was very laggy and... Yeah, it, it, it was, it was, I, I don't know, I kind of dropped this project simply because the wars were not, like, the wars were pretty low quality and I was playing on a ping. So, um, I did make this account where I believe the NA was kind of collapsing a little bit, so I didn't catch the peak of NA. Um, I was uh, running with uh, Supple back then against dropouts, a couple of wars, but it was, the wars really started going downhill for NA from when I talked to the boys, and then I just kind of scrapped this project altogether. As you can see, I don't have Heart Rune, I don't have Brimstone Unlocked, this is an old project of mine. Um, but still, if we were to take a look at what I used to run back then, it was probably pretty shit, because I remember, um, I remember this Great X, so it's just a 2 bis Great X, and then obviously this Warhammer with uh, Thwarting, Kinley, and Kin. This is to be really good hammer back in the day. Uh, the Black Guards were hammer. A lot of people were really gunning for this. And then we have Resi Shirking, Resi Freedom, Resi Grav, Resi Shock, and Freedom Resi and the Reap. So, really weird setup. Oi, I, I have two Freedom pieces. I, I'm pretty sure I'm, we I'm maybe wearing something wrong. Oh, maybe this was my arc when I was playing like Light Bruiser as well. I don't fully remember exactly how this went. Shit, I even have some 6-3 to three gear score stuff. But this is probably my, my least upgraded character. I even have a POD on that one. Looking at the amulet. Oh, I did, do have champion's amulet though. Mortal Leeching Hearty on the ring as well. I, I was really this uh, Mortal Empowerment Bruiser enthusiast back in the day. But it's really not that worth it. Because you're like overcapping the, the empowerment when you run it. But 
I did run the Mortal Empowerment for the longest time, and I was very much hammer enjoying back then. But yeah, this is probably by far the worst character. How would I improve it? I would stick with this Great X. I would change the Warhammer into Shock Thwarting. I would change. Uh, I would keep this as a Resi Shirking. I would change this into Resi Shirking. I would uh, keep this as a Resi Grav. I would change this into Resi Shirking, and I would change this into Resi Shirking, leaving me with five Resi. For shirking and the gravity well perk and that would be phenomenal obviously resistances are really bad on this character i would get rid of this um fire gem i would get rid of this ice gem so you can see this really was the old meta uh, back in the day um so remove these two change them with two opals uh remove this mo I, I can keep this moonstone actually for now and that would already be a good setup starting setup however um i do not think i'll be returning to na anytime soon uh, this guy says, Mika, I'm gonna quickly log the fuck off before I get the DM'd on this server. It's been a minute since I've been here. Um, but there it is. I do believe that should complete my character breakdown uh, for this video. It's not as long as I thought it would be. Um, I didn't really dive into my PvE sets very much. So... Perhaps for a future video, I can really dive into all of my different mutation PvE sets. However, I don't know if that's really interesting for the people. But um, yeah, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave it a like. Consider subscribing. The channel is growing actually surprisingly fast. We're almost at 10k on our... Uh, well, this is my second channel. Obviously, I have a lot of RuneScape videos on my main one. Uh, but it's pretty exciting, man. Being able to post New World, have a bunch of people watch. Have a bunch of people enjoy the streams. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for enjoying the content. Hopefully this video was nice to watch, maybe on the side as you're gaming yourself. And let me know in the comments if there's anything that particularly interests you uh, when it comes to New World. And I'll probably make video about it. Um, but yeah, this is going to be it from me. Hopefully you enjoyed. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you around with some words over on my, on my Twitch channel and over here on the YouTube. Have a good one and take care. Bye bye.